have been testing, testing, testing. So you've just seen me make two, what I would consider inorganic mounts with hob filter. Now, coincidentally, it's white. I believe that this is going to actually go green as well. There will be residue. I don't know about algae, but we'll have to wait and see. So, yesterday, I got busy and I made these two. With this makeshift needle. But you can see how the material is much more flimsy than the scouring pad, so that tore through the material. I'm still going to use them, but for purposes of filming, I just wanted to show you this little bit of a rugged attempt. And then you just watched me make one of these with a proper needle. And you can see it's a little bit more kind to the material. So you know that I like my white and I don't think this material is going to stay white, but it's going to be a question of time to see what it's going to do. And this material is hob filter that you have in the kitchen for under the hob so that the condensation and steam goes up. That is this stuff. And I, first of all, it's a little bit more, it's got more give. You see, it's more poofy, for lack of a better term. But this was an idea from Megan, I said to rough up the um, scouring pad, rough it up a bit to help the roots. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's true. Wait and see, we'll wait and see what they do right now on the mount. But gave me an idea for something more fluffy, more poofy. And then you can also double it up and wrap, wrap it up like this, for example, which is something I'm also going to test out. But you don't need to watch me sewing all that. We'll, we'll do some mounts, a mount or two doing this. And then now I have four mounts with just one. So I consider this to be my front right here. And it'll be my back because I always like my winter sprays to be directed at the back and thus hoping to avoid that the front I compromise the crown and it doesn't dry out properly. So I can always spray and humidify on the back here. That's the plan. Let's have a look at the water retention. I have my scouring pad here and you can see how quickly the water just drains out. Now I could do it in a glass, soak it, weigh it and all that, but I just, trust me, look at this. When you fold this, you can see how quickly it regains its shape. When you fold this, you can see that it doesn't. So this is more water retentive. This is fabulous. Even these two in combination. The orchid can go on the front here, retain humidity in the back. Something like this. Or the other way around. Or one on top of the other. I am playing around with this idea and in the next video I'm going to be mounting on these white ones but you can already see how this one is more solid and this one is softer and I think it's going to be a good material we shall see Thank you ever, ever so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. There will be a couple of videos along these lines coming up now back to back because I think I can pretty much draw a few conclusions and then I'm not going to have to wait so long. 
with the Michael mounts, it took a little bit longer because I had to wait and see what the roots were doing and how the roots would respond to when I've sprayed, how long they dried. We've got that figured out now. Now I'm just trying to think of taking it up a notch. So thank you ever so much. If you're interested or have any more questions, if something wasn't quite clear, then please, please leave your questions in the comments below. I'd be very happy to qualify what I've just done. And let's see what the, how the mounting goes. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye.